Hey everyone, we have some. This is some big news. Um, it's not specifically Switch Pro, although there's probably a relation. Um, you better enjoy the Switch as it is now. You see this system? Don't have one? Better buy it now. Better buy your Switch lights because uh, very soon, aka by the end of the year, you may not be able to get those systems anymore. Uh, yeah, that's what we're talking about here. Before I get into it, we are giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox gift cards. Head down to the pinned comment or the description to find out how to enter to win those. Uh, also, hey, you know what? If you've ever considered supporting the channel before, well, today is the day. Head on over to patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Uh, we have some long-term stretch goals there, uh, including making the podcast weekly, uh, bringing back shows like Prime News, and obviously stretch goals like hiring an actual video editor and all that jazz. Lots of stuff there. Uh, why don't you go you know, toss a buck our way if you can afford to. All right, let's get into the actual news here. This comes from Game Reactor, and my word, let me just read the news, and then we're going to discuss. So NVIDIA is to stop Switch's SOC, system on a chip production, this year. Game Reactor was told. No word was mentioned on what comes next. News and rumors about the Nintendo Switch iteration have been developing quickly following Bloomberg's report of a deal between Nintendo and Samsung on rigid OLED panels. While checking the veracity of the rumors, a person with knowledge in the matter told Game Reactor that NVIDIA is halting the production of the system on a chip powering the Nintendo Switch this year. Both the regular model and the smaller, cheaper Switch Lite feature the latest version of NVIDIA Tegra X1 Mariko. The source told Game Reactor that NVIDIA plans to stop producing the processor in 2021, but did not elaborate further on what comes next or what may happen with the current versions of the hardware. The statement aligns with a rumor floating on social networks and forums about Nintendo's introduction of a Switch model later this year. X Kotaku uh, and other places, a game informer as well, Imran Khan, wrote on Reset Era that expect this thing to primarily be an FPS boost and resolutions, not a Switch 2. Think more pro than super. He was expecting the leak as there's enough people with dev kits already. Another regular leaker known as Nate Drake, Nate the Hate. Uh, there will be some select exclusives. We talked about that. In February, Nintendo's global president, Shinjiro Furukawa, said there's no plan for a new console announcement, quote unquote, soon in a conference call. And people noticed a different wording from the year before when he denied that a new Switch was coming in the market in 2020, which is true. Shinjiro Furukawa did not deny that we were going to get a new Switch. He just said not soon, and soon could be anywhere from weeks to months. Who knows? But let's just look at this, okay? So the source is Game Reactor. It's it's one of their contacts with knowledge on the matter of the deal that happened between uh, Nintendo and Samsung for the OLED. We know that Nintendo factually has a production line at Samsung, uh, so that is something that's public knowledge. So we know that Nintendo obviously has been talking to Samsung, uh, so it kind of makes the rigid OLED uh, 720p thing seem pretty legit from Bloomberg. But here's the thing. Let's say that Mariko chip is going out of production at some point this year. I don't know when, and Nintendo could obviously have millions of these things get banked up, right? Going out of production doesn't mean the Switch is just done right away. Uh, they would have to, you know, have, probably have a certain quota that Nintendo would want them to hit before they shut off those production lines. And we have to discuss, first off, why would they shut down uh, a chip that's selling millions and millions and millions and millions of units. Well, there's a worldwide silicon shortage. And the silicon is being prioritized towards chips that are going to be available for smart cars. We already know about the NVIDIA hiring post that says potentially an Orin chip is going to end up in a Nintendo Switch. Talked about that. Click up here if you're curious on what Orin is. It's a beast of a chip, although obviously the top end specs are not something a Switch would end up running. What's interesting about this is Orin is being made also for smart cars. The Mariko chip is not made for smart cars. So with the silicon shortage, it would make sense for if NVIDIA can find a way to produce a single chip that could be all also for smart cars, but still have the downclocked, you know, the, the versions that don't quite hit the specs that they want to hit, you know, the versions that come off that production line and just fail to meet specs for a smart car, but can meet specs for a switch. It would make sense for them to just replace the Mariko with a new 
chip. And the thing is, Orin, even at cutback speeds and cutback cores and all this, would be new technology and be significantly faster than the current stuff going on with the Tegra X1 and the Mariko chip. So kind of killing two birds with one stone. Get a Switch Pro out the door, also be on our production line that's going to be maintained because car manufacturers have the priority on the production line. I think it's that's what NVIDIA is looking at. And I'm sure they're talking to Nintendo about this and figuring out the right time to stop making these Mariko chips this year. But it's clear, you know, from the source anyways, that NVIDIA wants to stop producing a chip that doesn't make sense. It's also being made on a 16 nanometer process, which is something NVIDIA is moving away from. They don't really make any other chips currently on that 16 nanometer process, but Mariko. So it would make sense that they kind of want to move away from older manufacturing techniques, get into newer ones, which is going to force the Switch to have to change in some way. Uh, Nintendo obviously is aware of all of this behind the scenes, and it's already making plans. And we saw last year, obviously, the AULA uh, chip being talked about, although it looked like it was the exact same Tegra X1 chip at 16 nanometers with the same ARM processing cores. So what's interesting is why would you end the Tegra X1 chip only to remake a Tegra X1 chip doesn't really make any sense, right? Like even if it has a slight security alteration, which I talked about as a possibility for a chip swap, it still wouldn't, this wouldn't be news then. They're like, okay, they're, they're, they're done making Tegra X1, except they're not done making Tegra X1. They're just shifting it to a slightly altered manufacturing like that. That, that doesn't make any sense. And this thing doesn't even say Mariko. Like, notably, this source isn't even mentioning the Mariko chip itself. They're saying the X1 is done. They are going to stop making Tegra X1s this year. So that would infer, hey, even a new one. And it's possible that leak from last year was before NVIDIA uh, made this decision internally to end it. And they wouldn't end it, obviously, without having a plan with Nintendo uh, for what's next. It's interesting because this could lead to Switch Pro just being an outright replacement across the board. So they'll stop selling lights, which by the way, Nintendo, I don't know if they're pleased with the sale of light. Light has clearly not been the product that's in high demand in the marketplace. It's been selling because it's been what's been more easily available to get because the demand for light isn't very high. Uh, so they might not view light as an essential product moving forward. So to stop production of light when it's not viewed as essential isn't that big a deal. And obviously, if you're going to stop production of the current Switch, you need to replace it. This also kind of goes along with my idea that I thought a Switch Pro might come out at $299 which would replace the current Switch. So that could be something that's actually factually going to have to happen, if not this holiday, because they feel like they'll have enough Switches of the old ones made, at least early 2022, since they won't have the chips available at manufacturing to even make the current Switch anymore. So these Switches actually might even go up in value a little bit as uh, you know they become a little bit more scarcer. I mean, there's 80 million out there. But, you know, and I'm just saying that, it's one of those things that it's going to be really hard to get your hands on that red box switch or even the obviously gen one switches that are all sold out at this point so this is just news that's floating out there i think it's very very interesting uh and i obviously think that this is the biggest report we have had because it's not this isn't like a rumor or like a specific thing that's about switch pro this is kind of an unrelated to switch pro but because of this news, it's almost the biggest indicator we have that Switch Pro is happening beyond that Bloomberg report. Because, again, if they can't get Tegra X1 chips anymore, they got to get something else. So maybe it's Xavier. Maybe it's Orin. I don't know. Orin is the thing that NVIDIA was hiring for, for game consoles. So, yeah, a pro's coming. Don't know the specs. Imran Khan obviously set the expectation to be like, oh, expect, you know, a new 3DS, a kind of pro. But the new 3DS was a massive boost over the original 3DS, especially at the CPU level. The GPU was exactly the same. The CPU and the RAM were significantly bigger than the original 3DS. So we could see significant boosts. I know people are going to say, but oh, LOL, 720p. Um, being able to run Witcher 3 native 720p on an OLED panel would be a massive boost over what the current Switch can do. It would take two to three times more power than the current Switch to do that. So imagine that, yeah, everything will be backwards compatible to these version 2 and OG and Switch lights. But imagine that Nintendo doesn't even sell them anymore. I didn't even think that was a possibility. I thought Nintendo would keep them going, you know, but... 
with the with the silicon shortages with nvidia's news coming out like this i'm starting to lean more and more towards maybe nintendo's just doing an outright replacement they're going to stop making the current switch and force new consumers to have to buy the pro model but they're going to end up charging a fair price of course that's comparable to what we were already paying this also lets credence to people who thought maybe down the line we get a switch pro light although I think Nintendo's going to look at the light itself. I think they really thought the light was going to be a much bigger deal. Uh, I think they thought that with the 2DS. The new 2DS XL actually did decent, uh, but the OG 2DS, uh, which is a, I have a box down there for, uh, didn't end up doing that great in the marketplace. So maybe they're going to view the, oh, maybe the light wasn't that great of an idea. Anyways, let's focus on the Pro and then whatever we're going to do after that. I don't know. At this point, it's anyone's guess, but damn. I didn't think they were going to literally just stop making the chip that makes this thing go. Did not see that news coming today. So you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. As always, be sure to go over to Patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime to show some support. Head down to the pinned comment or to the description to enter our current giveaway. If you got this far in the video, drop a like. Make this the day you subscribe to Nintendo Prime because we got more and more news coming your way. And we're not just going to be talking about Switch Pro. It just seems to be everything happening lately is about that. Although there's a new TMNT game, in case you know, Teenage Mutant Tur Turtles, uh, Shredder's Revenge, made like the old school arcade turtles. I mean, just saying. I don't think it's big enough to do its own video, but it's a really cool shout out I want to give at the end here because that game looks great. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.